hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is tamara of tamara fashion style and today in this video i'm going to show you how to place some dart onto your bodice now let's say you have an ordinary bodice like this let's say you have an ordinary bodice like this let me just move this one here. so this is a quad scale bodice this is the full scale bodice all right now this is your quad scale bodice and to get this dart onto this bodice first thing we need to do we need to draft this bodice wider all right so let's see our dart need to be one inches in width all right we need to add the one inches to the side in the draft when we draft in the bodice so let's say we already draft the bodice and we want and when we um put the bomb put the bodice together and we put it on we realize that it's too big so we need to place a dart into this bodice now if it's a full scale bodice you're gonna do to it apex to apex right your boss point from one boss nipple to the next boss nipple and whatever measurement you get you divide that in half right and you place it there so let's say for instance this is the full scale bodice here i have here right this is the full scale bodice what this look like you see i have a dart here and i have a dart here right so this is two dart on this bodice and let's say you want your top to have this two dart here that you have here so i'm working with the large scale bodice so this is the large scale bodice it don't have any dart right so what i need to do is measure my apex to apex the two nipple right and whatever measurement i get i put i will divide it in half so let's say i get eight inches i'm gonna divide that in half and i'm gonna place four inches here so i'm gonna place four inches here right four inches there right because remember you try the top on and the top is too big so you just want a dart in the pattern so what you're gonna do since it's four inches here, now how much you want your dart to be let's say you want your dart to be one inch so you measure out one inch from this mark so you measure out one inch from this mark here right and you place it here this from this mark the one inch is measuring out now how much this the whole how long this dart supposed to be where you could put a dart how long with the space the the fabric is too much so let's say we want a dart about five inches long so we will measure up five inches and we put a mark there so now we're gonna connect this to this and this to that forget our dart all right so we'll connect that and then we'll come out with connect this so we have our dart there so now let's say we need a shoulder dart you see this one have a shoulder dart here right let's say you put on um the top and in the shoulder it's a little loose right it have a lot of fabric gathering here in the shoulder so you need a dart to bring up this fabric to make the shoulder smaller let's say the shoulder is too wide all right the shoulder dropping off of your um natural shoulder the top dropping off of your natural shoulder now you need a dart here to bring this top up so that it can sit on your shoulder all right so what you need to do how much is it what you need to do you could measure how much falling off your shoulder right and what we can do right let's say when you pin up the fabric to your shoulder right you pin the fabric up like that and measure it and you measure it let's say you get two and a half inches fabric so you want to measure from here from the from the um from the neck line right this is a full scale so i will measure out two and a quarter two and three eight inches which would stop here right from the neck 
two and three eight inches you could do two and a half inches you could do two inches now i'm gonna come to this shoulder point here right and i would measure back here about three inches to three and a half inches so i'll measure back three inches it could be three and three eight as well so i'll measure three and a quarter inches back in from that from that area right now what i would do it depends on if the gap gone all down here you have a lot of fabric gathering in between here so what i would do i would measure down from this end about nine and a half inches down right to nine nine and a half to nine inches so i'll put nine inches and then i will connect this dart this sec section here to that section here so now i place the dart into my bodice for bring up the gather the too much fabric this is going to help take out the bigness in the top all right now this is if it the, the the top is too big if it have too much fabric gathering in between this area here right gathering in between this area here then you do this method if you have fabric gathering in this area then you do this method here right so this is how you place the dart if you have the bodice is too wide it has too much fabric it's too big for you and you want to take it up by dart this is how you do it right now this bodice don't have any seam allowance so this is just ordinary bodice so when you're done you can add you see my low one so if it's a tap you try and i already have seen low one this is all you have to do so when you're done you go back you try your top and you bring your dart you fold your dart bring it to the other one so you see so when you take up all this fabric the shoulder becomes shorter all right so this is one problem solved for you so this bodice would now come and fit on the shoulder neat and nice all right so this one area solved and for the waist let's say the waist big you come you place your dart and it bring in the waist area so that's two problems solved for you so your bodice will become smaller and would fit you better so this is how you do um the dart for take up the um excess fabric in the front of your bodice through the shoulder to the boss or through the boss to the waist right so this is how you do that so this is to take up the fabric so let's say now you want to place dart on your bodice you don't have any darts on your bodice you don't have no bigness in your bodice but you want a bodice you want to make a bodice with a dart right all you have to do is similar let's say you make your dart this is a quarter scale so i would just go like two inches from the center front so from the center front i will measure back two inches and then i would measure half inch out because it's just a small dart i want to add and then I would measure up like four inches if so much, right? Measure up like four inches or three and a half inches. Remember, this is a quarter scale bodice. Measure up like four inches. And then I would place my um, my dart, right? So I'll show you how to increase the pattern so it could accommodate this dart. So let's say you want a dart in the neck. You measure back one and a half inches. You measure back one and a half inches. You measure down four inches. And then we connect in this dart.
now we have to extend the shoulder and extend the side the side of the bodice to accommodate this dart so how much do we take out here this is half inch so we need to add half inch back to the side seam how much is this dart this is one inch so we need to add an inch back to this arm so now what we're gonna do we're gonna connect this connect that and then we're gonna come and we're gonna lengthen that all right so we're gonna lengthen that okay so this is how our um dart would be so we lengthen that and you draw this out you draw that out to come and connect back with that all right connect back with that so when you don't know you cut out this like this so we're gonna fold over that I'm gonna fold this I'm gonna fold this dart like that so this is our dart fold here right we're gonna cut this out this way I'm gonna cut this out like this. You come and you fold this. Fold that. And we cut this out. This would be the um the bodice dart right this dart supposed to fold this way instead this way falling towards here then you come and you cut this out like this cut that out so this would be your bodice so this is what it will look like so you extend this one here and you extend that right to get your bodice to add the dart so remember you taking half inch in this so you add back half inch here you taking a you you taking an inch here you add back an inch here so this is how you place the dart and you extend the bodice so that it could accommodate the dart and the bodice won't tight so I hope I was able to make this clear for you. I'll see you in my next tutorial. You enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel. Share my channel so that others can benefit too as well. The same as how you benefiting. And if this is your first time here, thank you for joining. And thank you for coming back always. I appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Bye.